Rich, an extra day um, of training today ahead of uh, tomorrow's clash with Southend. I guess that's a bit of a benefit. It stitches us up a bit in, later in the week, but, you know, a benefit ahead of tomorrow's game. Yeah, that's how we're looking at it. It's part and parcel of football. Things get thrown at you sometimes. So uh, we're organised and ready to go, really. It's been a couple of... Uh good training sessions. And going into it off of a good win on Saturday, it was a great atmosphere and, and a good performance from the lads. It has been, it's been, it's been good. It has been good the last three games, obviously three wins are good. We've been ploughing away, we've been combining well and harvesting goals. Yeah, and let's talk about those goals because they both came from substitutes. I spoke with Tommy after the game and you know he, he says maybe not substitutes and more finishes is what they call them these days and it certainly was that on Saturday. Well exactly, it? I mean you had his work, his socks off up there and Jack comes on. You know, he's dangled the carrot, James Henry, he's put the ball in and it's rough, he's sweet and into the, into the goal and that gets us back into the game. Yeah, well, that is what Jack can bring, isn't it? He's, he's, he's a little lad in, in, on, by the looks of it on paper, isn't he? But he gets up well and he, he's, he pr provides an aerial presence as well. He does, you know, he leaps well, but what he's done well in the last couple of games is he's staying in between the, the goals when the crosses are coming in. He wants to do too much work sometimes out in the wide areas and uh, he's missing out on chances. But uh, it, was a, it was a great goal and it got, got, like I say, got us back into the game. And maybe an unlikely scorer, but perhaps Ryan Jones got three in the last week. Is he another goal threat that we can add to our arsenal? Yeah, I, th I think so. You know, Ryan's worked really, really hard. You know, he's virtually came in as a, maybe a left wing back. And, but Tom's seen potential in him as a, as a 10. And obviously, if you play on the right, he's come inside there and, and he's hit it well. You know, people say, oh, it's a long way, long way out. And it's rolled in, but it's a great strike. And you know, the keeper was struggling to get there. But looking ahead to tomorrow, our opponent, Southend United, they're a team kind of similar position to us in the table, but it's obviously going to be a big challenge, isn't it? We know what Southend are capable of. Yeah, we do, you know, and they probably play quite similar to us as well. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a good battle. Um, it's always, we had two, two good games against them last season yeah. and they probably came out on top at our place and um, obviously the sending off change of game that there is last season. But Kev's a good manager. He'll organise and coach them. To how they got a play, so we know we're in for a tough game. And it, as we said earlier, you know we've got the long trip up to Hartlepool this weekend, and the Southend game moves to the Wednesday. It's, it creates a few problems, doesn't it? But you know we just get on with it and we face what we can. We do. I mean, Hugo does great on the all the sorting out of times and travel and everything like that. So you know, so it's, it's going to be a little bit different Thursday and Friday. But uh, hopefully, we're all set and get get organised ready for, uh, for Saturday. We'll stay up there the night before and do do the best we can. Well, it's happened plenty of times this season, hasn't it? Long trips after a midweek game. It's not something that the players can use and it's, as an excuse, is it, really? Because it, everyone else is in the same boat. So just business as usual, I guess. Of course it is, yeah. You know, and uh, we've had great results and averages up results away from home. So, uh, you know, it's a tough place to go apart at the pool. You know, they're a passionate crowd as well behind the goal. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. But is confidence a, a good thing in the group at the moment? Obviously, we're coming into it off of three games in a, uh, three wins in a row, so that's got to be a good thing. Yeah, and it's not just been the same team as well. What's, what's mm. affected the game? You know, like you said, they're not subs; they're finishers, and we've probably used seventeen, eighteen players. And in general, the subs have come on and made a good, good difference because of the lads who have started have, um, have put in a shift. So, I think we're gradually getting more and more confident and um, and getting back to where we should be. And, and something that uh, Gaffer Tommy's mentioned a lot is, is the depth of the squad. It's something that has been challenged recently with the injuries we've had, but it's been a positive, hasn't it, with those players that have come in and shown what they can do, especially in, you know, Ash and Maxi scoring in the Bath game, for example, and, and as well, the, uh, AJ coming back in and scoring, and, and as, as we said already, Ryan scoring as well in the um, National League Cup game. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're scoring from all positions, which is good, you know, and we're looking a little bit more threatening that set plays in, into the box. Whether we play short or whether we, we go long, we look a little bit more of a threat as well. So, like I say, you, you're looking at AJ. AJ's not even playing in his usual position, but mm. you know, when you come up against Eastleigh, like we did, um, you know it's going to be a tough game and you know, he, he coped really, really well. Well, that's it, isn't it? We didn't get the clean sheet, which is always the thing that people look at, but it was a really good defensive performance. And when you said there, AJ had to go into an unnatural position as a defender yourself in, in your playing career. Is that is that something that's a little difficult to do or is it is it a little, you know... I, I, no, you, you know, we've got, a, we've, got a, we've got a good young side and we've got two or three good experienced players. AJ would be classed as an experienced player now. He knows... If he has to play in goal, he know what to yeah. do. You know, if in the middle of a three, he'll, he'll know what to do. But, you know, he's, he's a winner. So it's good having people like that on the pitch. But Rolls got man of the match. It was a brilliant performance for him. And, and Lockie, aside, hit, 
next to him as well has had a great start to life as a shots player. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah. Like I say, you know what what to expect when you come up against certain teams, and uh, they looked organised and and cope really well, really, battled cope really well, battled well, and, and that's what you've got to do to sometimes win a game. You can't play total football for ninety minutes. But what I would say, like one nil down, it's like, oof, but the mental side of how we have been coming back to win the game was was big for us.